Hey there, True Believers, Rank is Froggy here for the second time trying to record this. Yeah, the first time, my audio decided to have a huge issue where it was just buzzing the whole time instead of actually, you know, picking up my voice. So yeah, I'm a little frustrated right now. I'm not feeling very good, and I don't really want to record, but I have to to make the deadline, and I don't want to miss another deadline for you guys. So, with that in mind, welcome to Let's Play Psychonauts. On my laptop, that's going to be broken in half if it decides to not pick up my audio again. Anyway, Fred Bonaparte. Behind you, Jason. He's insane. Sacre bleu! I have been hit! Sorry about that cough, I'll try to uh, mute those out from now on, but yeah, like I said, I'm not feeling very good today. Um, worked a week and a half straight, haven't gotten a moment of rest, and uh, here I am now recording! <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> I'll try to keep all the gross noises off of uh, the audio. Assuming the audio wants to keep working. Stupid crappy thing it is. Why is why is Napoleon a bear? And why are they playing Hero Quest? Don't think I want to know. I'm going to have to know, I'm sure. Just grab these figments since I'm close. Take those. Not that I'll ever need confusion grenades ever again, but you know. Who's winning? Nobody's winning! Want to know who's losing? The Bonaparte family name! Look, I forfeit, okay? You win. Napoleon Bonaparte wins again. Is that the real Napoleon Bonaparte? I mean, the imaginary real Napoleon Bonaparte? It's a teddy bear in a Napoleon costume. Yeah, I'm actually related to him. Can you believe it? Shut up! Stop telling people that simple fact. I don't even want to be here. But when this sad excuse for a Bonaparte lost a simple game of war to a feeble-minded invalid, I just could not take it anymore. I was forced to take control, and I will stay in control until I beat the love of victory into this degenerate swan who dares to call himself a Bonaparte. No, really, great-great-great-grandpa Napoleon, I do love victory, like, a ton. I love it so much, you can go now, I swear. Your move! I don't think he believes you. But anyway, a oh, little attack that materialized from the ether. Hmm, I, th I think we should mess up their whole game and just jump on it. I've took up that figment. Blah, smash the piece. Well, this is strange. <clears throat> So much for crushing the pieces, I guess. What's this? My lazy opponent is actually trying to win? He has sent in reinforcements. Well, well. Then let the game truly begin. Send in my best soldier. You! Destroy that bridge! For France! For France! I hate your stupid bridge. This is how much I hate you! Haha! <laughs> Suck on that bridge! Ah, yes. Now I shall go torment this poor peasant over here. <laughs> I'm not even sure what just happened. Oh, man, now look. The bridge is broken and I can't move my pieces past it anymore. I quit. Napoleon, you win. No, we don't forfeit. We're gonna beat you, Mr. Genetic Memory of Napoleon Bonaparte. Haha, <laughs> I like your je ne sais quoi, your joie de vivre. Maybe you will teach my long-legged nincompoop a lesson, eh? <laughs> Hello. If I knew French, that would make sense, I'm sure. But, <clears throat> well, since, you know, we're a game piece, ki kind of. Hey, don't touch my pieces. Hey, don't touch my pieces. That is cheating. Oh, sorry. Uh, but these buildings, we need to go into... Okay, I had to check out your for a second. I saw a spike that I wasn't aware of. 
So let's go see what's going on at this building by shrinking down to tiny to tiny size. And equipping this since I know what's going to happen. Hello, I'm recruiting for the army of Fred Bonaparte and Go away! Fred Bonaparte has forgotten the people, and we have forgotten him. What? Fred loves the people. He was just telling me that some of his best friends are, um, the people. He has abandoned us. He doesn't care if we live or die. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll talk to Fred. I'll talk to him, and I'll prove to you that he cares about the common man, and that the fight is not meaningless. I'll believe it when I hear it from him. All right, I will have to go do that then. These are our missions in the hello oh, tank. You caught me off guard last time, but I'll catch you off guard this time. Sure. All right. Yes, we need to go around and handle basically the entire game since Fred is incompetent. Now, how we turn back to a regular sized Raz, we need to go to that cork. Punch it and then glide up into the mist. But since this one is right here, there's no real point to do it using, effect using effectively fast travel since, you know, it's within walking distance. There's no point. Hello in there. Any carpenters home? Go away, burglar. I'm not a burglar. I'm a recruiter for Fred Bonaparte's army. We're a little light in our corps of engineers, see? Listen, I know you're a burglar. I've been listening to your footsteps on my roof all night trying to break in. Why don't you just slide down the chimney? I got a nice fire going for you in here, Mr. Burglar. Okay, if I'm a burglar, then how can I be down here talking to you and up on the roof at the same time? Maybe you're a ventriloquist. Listen, if I go see what's up on your roof and take care of it, will you come out and help fight Napoleon? <laughs> oh, I know. Maybe. Good enough. Well, it's a yes anyway, so let's go. Let's go help Mr. Crazy Carpenter Man by finding a, <clears throat> finding a way onto his roof. Go up on this one. How do I get up onto this one? Um. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a cable over to here. Alright, that makes things easier. You know what? I don't think I want to go through that one. We'll go around to this side. Couple of duster in there is. Got it. Suitcase tag. That's what I need here. Watch it. Okay, what is shooting me now? Oh, you. Listen. Tank thing. God, stupid tank things. Okay, point is I need to get up there. Hey! <sighs> you please stop shooting at me. Aha! Go ahead. Um, let's see. Aha! Watch it. Oh, you bastard. <clears throat> it's gonna be one of, one of those levels, isn't it?
One of those needlessly hard levels that I have a problem with for no particular reason. And the answer is ye yes, yes, it will be. <clears throat> yeah, nice try. Kind of swinging right now, and that's proving good enough. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. Uh oh, hello. Yeah. So Fred used to be an orderly, I guess. And he lost. Oh. So he lost a game, that's why he's... Well, Fred lost a game to Crispin, and then he went insane. That's very selfish of him, I think, that he expects to win every time. Okay, you can come out. Burglar's gone. Wow. You're pretty tough for a ventriloquist. Okay, here I come. I hate you, Carpenter. Not really. Just show me where there's some wood to work on. And I'll go to town. Ah, okay. Part one of the ridiculous mission is done. Oh, you know, let me get pyrokinesis again. Hmm. Okay, now let's go hunt down some more, some, some more question marks, or exclamation marks rather. Yeah, this water, this water doesn't kill you on the overworld. In the small world, it does, but not here. Because it's a small world, after all, I've been told. Oh yeah, I have to go talk to Fred, that's right. Now, how do I get back out of Waterloo World? Aha, I was going to say, I, 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 I remember there being a ladder somewhere. Problem is, people think you don't care. What? I care? Then lead them to victory, milk toast. Shut up! They think you don't care if they live or die. What do they want from me? A notice on my official stationery that says I'd be sad if they die? Probably. Yep. Huh. Well, if that doesn't work... Let me guess. You give up? Bingo! Ha! Another game at which I would surely defeat you. Hey, you take that little victory if you need it, tiny man. Oh, these two. Raz, get in the thing. Important message from your fearless leader. Oh my god. He does care. He does. I knew it. Fred Bonaparte is the greatest leader of all time. I can't wait to die for his cause. <laughs> well, you might not die. You might win. Hey, he's a great leader, but he's still Fred. I wouldn't even go as far as to say great leader, personally. But. Okay. Hurl my innocent bones into the cruel machine of war. I'm ready. 
Alright, good. So we have a suicidal, a suicidal peasant then.